short tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. Here once more, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Steve Levin. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, for the professional record of 21 wins, 5 losses. He stands 6 feet 1 is tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of New York, David Brown. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. The fighters touch gloves. Are you ready? You ready? Fight! All right, so this UFC Grand Prix tournament is coming up next. This format has been all the rage with a lot of the hardcore mixed martial arts. One, two. He's doing a great job of mixing things up here. Come on, nicely done early here with the takedown. He moves into half guard. He lands a big shot from the bottom. Back to full guard. Wow. Lands a good shot from the bottom. Back to half guard. Busy as he looks to improve position here. Inside control, tying up that arm, looking for the Kimura. It looks like this submission's locked. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Not tapping out tonight. Wow, that's big. Beautiful guard here. He's got his back. And he's got full mount. able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Lee. Look at this. He's out of it. Now he gets the full mount again. Side control. Oh, he got tagged with the right hand there. Side control again. All right, under three minutes now to go in round one. Excellent movement here on the ground. Trying to pass here. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Oh! oh! He's got him hurt here. Big shots! Nice jab. They clinch up. When you let a guy get double under the side, it's a very bad situation. He's on top now in half guard. He's now working from full guard. 
He's got his back. Tries to pass here, but gets shut down. Reversal. Very nice. Elbow to buy. Gets up again here, but hurting. Well, his opponent's got the read now, Joe, as he lands the punch to the head. He's got to change up his striking pattern and the tempo, or he's going to continue to be vulnerable to that counter. Oh, he connects there. Good shot. Wow. Oh! This could be it! Powerful jab. starting to add up. He's already landed several in the round and really doing a great job not telegraphing his shot. The opponent doesn't know what's coming and again ends up on his back. Oh, very bad. Full mount. Reversal here and into full guard. Working on a choke here potentially. Strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Lee. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Oh, that's a good strike there by Lee. He's able to slip the left. Yeah, here he goes again. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Nice punch by Lee. Moves into half guard. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Passes to half guard. 15 seconds. Big punch from the bottom. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Round two straight ahead. Let's take a look at that again. And let's see that again from another angle. This next round, we really want to focus on ground control. You have to set up your takedown. I want you to maintain a dominant. Brittany Palmer is in the building doing work as usual. Definitely gonna want to start this round off fast and try to pick up where he left off. His opponent was in big trouble at the end of that round. How about that chin? Oh! He's in trouble, he's in trouble. Oh, he might be out. Movement and transitions here on the ground, staying busy. He's now working from side control again. Trying to spin to the back. Now he covers up as the hammer fists are coming. Excellent movement on the ground here, always trying to better his position. And now they clinch, pummeling under. Makes it in some shoulder strikes there. Big elbow for the oh. clinch there. He's in big trouble here. He's wincing in pain. Hard jab. Well, he got his head snapped back by that straight hand there, and he's shown a vulnerability tonight by leaning right into that punch as he tries to set up his own oh. 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 slam toe. Trying to take the back here. He's back into side control here. Moves to half guard. Slides him over and nice reversal here. He's working from 
on his back now. Full mount. Lee's eye really starting to close up. Got to get that end swell on it between rounds if we get there. Big body punch. Gets the elbow there. Now to full guard. In half guard now. A little bit uneventful. Oh, exactly as he threw it up. Postures up, lands a flush, clean elbow. Big punch from the bottom. Good punch. Postures up here. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Luke. Back to half guard now. Two minutes remain in the way. And busy as he looks to improve position here. He's gonna try to take the back, I think. Remaining active here in his pursuit of the submission. Another attempt here. He's got the Japanese necktie locked in. This Japanese necktie is tight. He's really cranking it. Stunning. And Stunning. Do it. And he really made it look easy. He got the choke for the tap. Well, yeah, so the work in the gym pays off here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Gorgeous setup on the choke, and I think even better execution down the stretch. Clearly, it was sunk in deep. His opponent had no choice but to tap or take a nap. In this case, he chose to tap out. And here we can see it again. That's a real tight choke here. And one more time, nice technique here on this submission. So a seminal moment for him here tonight, Joe Rogan, as he gets the win by way of submission. Certainly one of the bigger wins of his career and as big a statement as he could have made here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 25 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out, David Brown. Well, the celebration is on in the corner after the big submission win here tonight. He told us during fight week that he needed to prioritize a finish here. Decisions were not going to be enough to take his career where he wants to take it and expeditiously. So, gets the submission tonight. Now the celebration is on. There have got to be few things in all of pro sports as satisfying than to be able to celebrate a UFC win with your coaches and training.